So here we have uh, the Reflector app, uh, formerly known as Reflection. Um, here's a little icon for Reflection, and I already have it turned on. My iPad is being mirrored. And just quickly to show how to mirror it, you just go to any AirPlay device, just like you would normally. Um, in my case, I have a couple different ones running, but uh, it's under my computer name there. Uh, so if you select off, it obviously goes away. You turn it back on, and it pops back up there. Now, one of the main features that I really like about this is the ability to resize the screen as you would like and sometimes the iPad isn't necessarily my focal point of my lesson so maybe it's just a timer and it sets off to the side there and it's working uh, and then I still have the ability to manipulate my computer screen um, and showcase anything else that I'd like to go on and the iPad just runs there on its own. Um, other times uh, I do want it to be the focal point of my lesson and so I uh, enlarge it and there's different options here that you can play with. Um, you can also make it full screen so then it blacks everything out and it truly is just going to be your lesson for the day and I've really grown accustomed to these features uh, it's completely replaced my whiteboard any kind of um, interactive whiteboard applications there's so many on the um, Apple iTunes store that you can uh, you can play with and it allows you to you know fluidly move through your lesson or um, anything that you're working on and uh, it just mirrors obviously whatever's on your iPad screen now, one of the best features that I've found here is the ability to not only just run one iPad or iOS device, but to run multiple devices. And so here we have, this is a second iPad that I'm running at the same. And, there, and it really just depends on the ability of your uh, computer to run as many um, devices as you'd like. But you could show them on the screen as long as your computer allows for it. And so here um, I'm running two different iPads. And so what a good... Um, little lesson that I, I run at times is just a simple um, race in class and so I have two different iPads going at the same time and I have them side by side and really I'm just having students go through and show me what they know and what is the information that they'd like to uh, show me or in, you know showcase their work um, how they would do find their mistakes and so the whole class can kind of benefit from from seeing two students working simultaneously and you know at times you may notice a little lag but it it is pretty responsive and it allows you to um, to have multiple sets of work there for anybody um, that has an iPad or iOS device and again it doesn't have to be just iOS or sorry not um, doesn't just have to be an iPad it could be iPods iPhones as long as they can hook into AirPlay um, through the wireless connection that you have um, and for me this app reflector app has really kind of changed my instruction in that um, all of my lessons um, pretty much can revolve with an iPad and because it's more fluid than uh, a lot of the other interactive um, software that people see or people use uh, it allows me to move quickly through my lesson and um, reduces the amount of time you know even something as simple as rewarding participation points just becomes a, a simple flick uh, from one app to the next and then I can move back to what I what I was working on initially without having to stop what I'm doing. Um, obviously the amount of apps that iOS has um, it allows for a lot of functionality as well. You have things um, that you may not have normally been able to use but now you can because you can reflect anything onto your iPad. Uh, you can take the camera anywhere you'd like. This become a document camera. And one of the best features is the price. Uh, you're looking at $15 per license that you look at as opposed to um, an Apple TV, on the other hand, which may um, cost you a little around 100 depending on when and where you purchase it at. And so if you have any uh, implementation ideas or questions about, uh, make sure to email the Apps in Class team.